Hey guys, so I'm starting a series on how to create an AI SaaS using Laravel, Laravel Cashier, and the Open AI API. So I'm excited about this series, and if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so starting off here in the terminal, I'm just going to create a new Laravel project. So what we're going to do is just Laravel new, and then AI SaaS. Okay, and that's just going to create the directory. We went into our app application folder, which is CD AI SAS, and then we're opening it up in VS Code. I just have the shortcut here. You may not have this, so you might just need to open it manually. Okay, so we're here in VS Code. So next, we're just going to edit our environment variables just so we can connect our database. So I'm going to go here into PHP my admin and just create a blank database. Okay, so here in my database management software, I create a new database by just going up here and then creating a new database. So I named it AI SAS. And now we're going to go back into VS Code and enter those credentials here. Okay, and then I'm just going to blur out my password here. Okay, so we're going to open the terminal in VS Code. Okay, so next we're going to install our all our dependencies. We're just going to do composer install. Okay, great. So this is done and we can check our app. Okay, so over here, we're just going to change the environment to the app name to AI SaaS. And then the URL to AI SaaS.test. Okay, and save this. And let's test it out. So we're just going to generate a app key. So to do that, we're going to do PHP artisan key generate. Okay, great. So let's check our website to see if Laravel has been successfully installed. Okay, great. So our Laravel app has been created and we just have the default Laravel app. Okay, so back here in VS Code, we're going to migrate our files to the database. So to do that, what we're going to do is just php artisan migrate. Okay, so these will migrate just the default database migrations. So let's just check that out. Okay, so back here on our database admin panel, we're just going to refresh this database. And there we go. So we do have our migration, our new tables after the migration. So next, we're going to go back to VS Code. And next, we're going to add some authentication. So we're going to need to install the Laravel Breeze package. So what we're going to do is use Laravel Breeze. So in their documentation, they have these starter kits, which makes it easy to add authentication. So we're going to just copy this command here. Back in our terminal and paste. OK, great. So it's been installed. So let's just install this to our Laravel app. So what we're going to do is just php artisan breeze install. OK, so it's just asking which when we would like to install. So let's just stick with Blade for now. So I'll click Enter. Would you like dark mode support? Let's just click Yes as well. And then for the testing framework, just stick with PHP unit. And let that install. OK, great. So this has been installed. Let me just clear the terminal. And then next, let's just migrate the new files to our database. So do PHP artisan migrate. OK, so next, let's just install the node dependencies. So npm install and then npm run dev. OK, so let's just go back to our application now. OK, great. So as you can see, now we have authentication. So we can register and we can log in. So let's test this out. Let's just create an account. And then click register. OK, great. So we have our dashboard now. So this is what we'll be using to develop our AI SaaS. So each user will have their own dashboard. And then they have their profile here, which they can update their password, edit their email, and, del and delete their account as well here at the bottom. OK, so next, let's update the dashboard to hold our application, which is going to be just a blog content generator. 
and also a blog image generator as well. So first let's just create the, the front end. So it'll just be a form and then an area where the data can be outputted. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna go back into VS Code. Okay, so back here, just exit the terminal. We're gonna go here into public and then resources and then views and then layout and then app.blade.php. And then here on the navigation as well, we can just change the logo here. Instead of just the logo, let's just make it uh, just a P AI SAS. So this is what's being used for the styling is still in that CSS. So you can just check your documentation here. Also how to add colors. So we're just going to do that. Do text color so that we can check how it is. And then it'll just be something like text white, text black. So we can do text white, this class here. So just copy this class. And back in VS Code, we can just add it here. Okay, and then if we check back at in our app, styling has been applied here. So that the header is fine for now. So let's work on this section here. We're gonna edit this here, dashboard.blade.php. Okay, over here. So in this section, it says you're logged in. Let's just write test and then view the app. Okay, so we're in the right container. Now we'll get started with adding the front end of our AI app. Okay, so first we're just gonna create an H2 and then this one is just gonna be log content generator. And then underneath will just be a form. Okay, and then for the action, we'll just leave this blank for now. And then after the method will be a post. Okay, and then just make sure to add the ENC type to multi-part form data. Okay, and then we're gonna add our CSRF token. This is required or else the form will not submit. We're just gonna add another div. So the first one is going to be just a label for uh, blog posts. And then write a blog post about and then the input will be a text a text input so let's just add about and then the text input and the name will be blog posts and then placeholder is none and after that we're just going to do another div for the submit button Okay, so let's check out our front end now. Okay, great. So this is working in general. Like we'll, we'll come back to the styling after. So let's just do just some slight styling. Okay, so let's just make the text here a little bit bigger. So we can do text LG, and then we can check it out. Yep, so this is just a little bit bigger. Let's just make it just a little bit bigger. Let's do Double XL. Okay, yeah, so that looks a bit better. And then after, let's just add a border around the submit button. Okay, so next let's just update the styling for the button. So we're just gonna do class equals, give it rounded corners and then background, let's do black. Okay, so let's just give it some padding. Okay, and then just P, let's try P2. Okay, let's do P4. Okay, and then just for the button, let's just use the purple that they're using here, just so it matches. So let's change it to a purple. So it'd be BG indigo, and then you gotta give it like an opacity. So it'd be 500. Now let's check out the app. Great, so this looks better for the front end. And then underneath this, let's add another section for the blog image generator. Okay, so back over here, let's just copy this again. And then this is gonna be blog content, blog image generator. Generate a blog image or then change up the labels. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, great. So we got our two forms here. 
And then now we just need to generate the logic and then connect our open API in order to gain access to the AI generated content and images. So this concludes the end of part one of the series. If you'd like to keep updated for the next part, please like and subscribe to stay up to date with my content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.